Hello friends, hola amigos. Today I'm going to speak about a wireless CarPlay. Welcome to this new video. So this all new Connect has CarPlay, but as you know, it is wired CarPlay. So you always need this little USB cable in order to have your CarPlay. I will wire it right now. And there it will pop up. There you go. So this new Qashqai comes with the new Connect system. And I already spoke about the system in this video, but wouldn't it be handy to have your CarPlay wireless? That will mean you can drive off immediately and have all your CarPlay options as you're used to. Well, it would be great. And there are some aftermarket solutions for this. The most simple one and cheapest one is mirroring, where you simply mirror everything you see in the screen of your phone to your system. But it means that you can't use your phone independently. It also means that your phone is used and therefore your battery uh, lowers quite quickly. A neater solution would be a real wireless CarPlay. And there are also some aftermarket solutions for this. So the first, most simple one is uh, with a jailbreak app. I tried it for you. You have to do uh, multiple actions in order to get it to begin with. And even then it didn't work. I never managed to, uh, to have it work on my car. So forget about that one. Then you have uh, two other systems. That is uh, your CarPlay to Air and your CarLink Kit 2.0. Especially the last one, the Carling Kit 2.0, looks really nice, uh, offers some great solutions, a real wireless CarPlay. You can even wire your phone with USB to the Carling Kit to charge your phone when needed. It is discreet and does everything you would expect to. The price has even dropped uh, to 70 euros for now, and it even ships from Europe, so you can get it within the seven days. But still guys, I won't advise you to do so and this is why. So first of all, there is some latency. That will mean that the CarPlay won't res respond as quickly as you're used to when it is wired. Second is that sometimes you may see some highlighted functions, which is useful for cars that have a touchpad. And then you can use a sort of cursor that you can change your highlight to the option you want to select. As you know, the Qashqai doesn't come with a touchpad, so the highlight isn't useful and even a little bit distracting. Then, the Carling Kit don't support the dark mode, and I think that is quite dangerous when you're using your CarPlay at nighttime, when the light mode can be really distracting. And then, the most important reason of all, this Carling Kit 2.0 can freeze, and when it does, it freezes the system and your phone. So you really have to disconnect everything, reboot everything in order to be able to use your navigation or whatsoever again. And this can be uh, quite annoying and even dang dangerous when you need it the most. I imagine myself driving on the um, famous Périphérique, which is the highway uh, that goes around Paris. And imagine you driving there and having your old system to crash and then you have to rely on your own navigation skills. I have to precise as well that nothing says that Apple won't block the option to use wireless CarPlay. So it is still possible that when you buy the 70 euros wireless CarPlay dongle and Apple shut down the possibility some months after it, your CarPlay dongle is completely useless. So that's a risk to take in mind as well. So guys, for now I would say, don't buy it. Just wire your phone with the cable. Yes, it is a little bit annoying, but you have the fastest solution and it is really stable. No surprises whatsoever. So guys, I hope you like this video. See you next time. Don't forget to share, subscribe and like. Leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.